Hey everyone, now we've got a lot of different types of visualizations in Pocket, and today we're going to take a more in-depth look at one of the more prominent types, which is the table format. Uh, we'll do that by looking at the hand browser here, uh, which is a list of the most recently played hands. So uh, here it is loading, and there we go. If you've been with Pocket for a long time, you'll be pretty familiar with this already, but uh, the rows in this table are all the different hands you've played, and the columns are various fields that you're interested in exploring with these hands. And since we're showing off hands here, we can click on one of these, and it will open up a nice little detail of what happened to that hand. But we're not going to look at this right now. We're going to focus back on the table over there, so I'll go ahead and close that. And one of the first things I want to point out is that you can click on any of these headers to sort. Uh, now we've just gone into descending order, in this case based on winnings. Click it again and it flips it around. Uh, and then a third time we'll kind of unset it back to the default sorting. Uh, and it works on any of these columns too. And we also have a really neat toolbar up here with a lot of different functions that you can use to manage the data in your table. Uh, we're going to start by looking at this one, which is the tags. Um, You'll notice when I click this, we get a list of all of the different tags that are used in this particular data that's being shown right now, um, as well as some kind of meta ones, like whether you've starred a hand or you've shared a hand, or even if you've written a note about a hand. And they all show up over here in this leftmost column on the table as little tag icons and star icons and such. Um, you can decide which of these to show and hide just by clicking on these eyeballs over here. So I've turned off all of them except, uh, let's leave hello. On. Um, and now you can see which ones just have that tag applied. Uh, furthermore, you can click this filter on tags button and it will show you only the hands in the table that have that tag. You, know, you can do the same for others as well, um, or you know, here we go with starred. But let's go ahead and turn all these back on again real quick here. All right. Now, another one of the buttons that's really useful here in this toolbar is this one, which shows you which fields you can add as columns to your table. There's some of the more advanced buttons on this pop-up that we won't go into in this video. The really important stuff is this column here and this one over here. Um, on the right here are the current columns that you have, and over here on the left are the potential ones that are part of your source already that you can choose to add if you want. Um, you can do that just by picking one. Let's grab uh, maybe board cards, for instance, and you just drag it over into the right section and let go. Um, if you wanted to add a field, there's a couple hundred that you can choose from that isn't on this list already. Then you just click this button here and you can add it to your source. Um, and once it's on the right, you can rearrange things. I'm going to put this right after whole cards and click update. And voila, we've got an entirely new column here. And one more button I want to show off is all the way up here. It's quick access to the filters for your visualization. Um, kind of like the fields list, you drag from available filters on the left over to the right. Uh, maybe we'll do that with hold them only and uh, saw showdown. That sounds pretty good. Uh, when you want to apply it, just click update and it will grab some fresh data. And there we go. Now I have just Hold'em hands here. It wasn't before. And also only ones that I saw the showdown at, which is pretty cool. And of course, you can use all these things together in tandem to get a really customized look at your hands. I also wanted to point out the gear button in the top left of the toolbar. You can click this on any visualization, and you get a sidebar here that shows you how this visualization was constructed. Uh, you can go in and refine and tweak all these different settings you have in here, but we'll cover a lot of that in other videos too. And we've been looking this whole time at the hand browser, but let's hop back real quick to maybe another one of these uh, other tables just to show that you know it's not all about the hands always. And here's one that's showing off you know, months as the rows instead of hands, and uh, maybe we'll take a quick look at um, the positions report. 